okay guys now let us talk about the homeo box genes or homeotic genes and what does this homeo box or homeotic genes actually mean now uh, these are the simple terms these are uh, the genes which are helping in morphogenesis and as well in uh, the organ development okay uh, during the development of arthropods we can have not only arthropods but in case of mammals and different uh, amphibians reptiles and different uh, species well, what happens uh, there are some genes are important really important for generating the different body segments or body parts okay and these genes control those formation of the those different body parts uh, and finally uh, morph those body parts to finally make an organ system the, those are called the homeobox genes. Now, in this case, as you can see, in case of Drosophila melanogaster, we have we are having these homeobox genes called hoax, as you can see here. There are a lot of different types of hoax genes out there: hoax one, hoax two, hoax four, hoax five, hoax six, and that several different types of hoax genes are there. And you can see different hoax genes are situated in uh, in 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 a DNA strand in, in a DNA. Punctuated by several uh, nucleotide sequences uh, in interval. Okay, and what they are doing, they are actually producing different parts, and not only they are producing the parts, they are actually governing to convert these body parts throughout the morphogenesis to finally make a fully functional organ. So they are directing this uh, different body part uh, initials to finally make the fully functional organs. That is really really important. They are really important during the morphogenesis, during actually the organogenesis. Okay. So as you can see, the hoax one try to maintain uh, and make this body part of this 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 fruit fry uh, body part, uh, which is which is uh, this hook uh, in front of their mouth. And this hoax two uh, is actually sorry, hoax two is actually making this uh, hook uh, in front of the mouse. And as well as you can see here, the hoax nine is helping to make uh, this uh, fruit fly uh, body end end body parts, which is really de which is uh, in different in character and also this hoax 7 uh, part is helping them to produce this this wings this beautiful wings so there are different hoax genes and there are different functions so if you change so you can see the difference between the functionality of hoax genes uh, hoax 1 is producing the hook uh, where is hoax 7 is producing the wings uh, so if we if we can change a little bit in nucleotide sequence during this hoax gene uh, transcription will end up with drastic or dangerous effects and dangerous dangerous uh, results we can have lead to the formation of different results and there are different results if you look at uh, it, it is called uh, one type of result is called the ho the antenna pedia mutation and what what do you mean by this antenna pedia it's that sometimes uh, there there is a hoax gene which is responsible to produce this antenna which is found uh, on onto the head of this drosophila uh, fly. So what happens if, if anyone have uh, uh, cause any mutation in that gene as a result what happens uh, no longer that antenna is uh, growing uh, from from the forehead instead of the antenna a leg is growing onto the forehead. So that that could be really really uh, <laughs> fascinating picture uh, to look but that is real that is real because uh, scientists and researchers are inducing this kind of mutations to see what kind of role these hoax genes are actually playing. So this is a really kind of ruthless thing but still uh, it, it help us to understand uh, how and what are the functionalities which are played by these hoax genes and these are the examples of the homeobox genes or homeot homeotic genes okay and that's it and I hope it's, it will help you thank you.